everyone, my name is Ricky and welcome to your friendly neighborhood Stu Dippin' channel and I am here to talk to you guys about Spider-Man versus Spider-Man. So there have been a lot of complaints with the new Amazing Spider-Man when people say, oh man, the new Amazing Spider-Man sucks because it's not the Raimi Spider-Man because you compare the first two movies and Sam Raimi told the same story that Mark Webb did and a lot of people said that Sam Raimi won so that this movie is the better movie, but I think that the main thing that people are forgetting is that these two movies serve their own purpose. If you look at Sam Raimi's Spider-Man, he really focuses and tells the story of Peter Parker, like, a lot. Like if you look back and watch the first Spider-Man movie, you don't really see Spider-Man be Spider-Man a whole lot. I mean, granted it's the first movie and with most first superhero movies, you have to establish a character, you have to have them discover and grow up in their powers, but in the first one, you don't see Spider-Man really be that awesome. Not nearly as much as you do in Spider-Man 2, comparatively. But even that, you get a lot of Peter Parker, like you have him trying to live a normal everyday life, him and MJ and him trying to fall in love with her from a distance and then the Harry Osborne thing and like you have a lot of Peter Parker development and don't get me wrong I love Peter Parker love Peter Parker I think that he is one of the coolest most relatable characters in all of comic book history but at the same time I want to see Spider-Man be Spider-Man in a Spider-Man movie and we're going to admit Spider-Man 3 because you know it happened. And now we bring in the Amazing Spider-Man in the first movie, well, quite frankly, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Was amazing. Why? Because we get a whole stinking lot of Spider-Man being Spider-Man. Like, Spider-Man fighting inside the school is one of the, it's, it, it's, like, same with Spider-Man 2, like, Spider-Man 2, in my opinion, is one of the best Spider-Man movies I don't even, let me just geek out real quick about how amazing Spider-Man was. From his web slinging, to his quips, to just him using his abilities in all the right ways. Just everything about it was so amazing! Ugh. So my argument is basically that if you want a good Peter Parker story, Sam, Sam Raimi I think does it very well. But then also Spider-Man, if you want some Spider-Man, like Spider-Man being Spider-Man, like the quips and everything, amazing Spider-Man. So I feel like they both need to coexist together. Let me know what you guys think. If you've seen both Spider-Man franchises, I want you to click right here if you prefer and like the Sam Raimi Spider-Man because it's great, a lot of Peter Parker, and just a lot of nostalgia because I remember that was one of the last VHSs that I owned. <laughs> Look at that, that's a sign of the times. Or if you like The Amazing Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield, Emma Stone, and Spider-Man being amazing and all action-y and quippy and just awesome. So let me know right here, guys. Or you can also let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ricky. I'm making fun reviews every week. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta see you safe. <laughs>